the very first thing that you should do for a problem like this is make sure you make sure you understand what the universal set is. All right, uh, for this problem, we just gave you the universal set. All right, it has A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then we can start trying to do the problems. So the number of elements that are outside of A, not, sorry, not the number, uh, the set of elements outside of A, well, to figure out the complement, we need to know what is inside of A. And you can see here, A is, uh, is all the elements that are even numbers. Now that doesn't mean that 32 and, and 44 and 58 are all members of A. They are even numbers, but the universal set puts a limit on what elements we're considering in a problem, all right? So that's why we need to know what the universal set is. So A is just two, four, six. Now to figure out the complement of A, everything that is outside of A, well, all you do is you look at the universal set and you look at A and you just look for what's, what is missing uh, from those. Uh, from A, and so we are missing the element little a, little a, little b, little c, the numbers one, three, and five, all right? So the complement of A is a set. Right, it's a set. That's our, our complement. Now, um, part or question two looks almost identical, right? But the key difference is that we put a set inside the counting function, and so your answer should be a number. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six elements outside of A. six elements outside of A. So um, be careful on the test. Be careful to check to see if it's asking for a count uh, versus a set, right? Um, all right, so uh, the next one is everything that is outside the universal set, right? Well, by definition, nothing is outside the universal set. It's the empty set. The complement of the universal set is always the empty set, which means that the number of elements outside the universal set is zero. Okay. All right, that's the whole idea of the universal set. There's nothing else outside of it. Um, now for A, we have to follow the order of operations, right? Can I ask a quick question? Yeah, Are you required to put the brackets around the empty set or no? No, you should not put the brackets. Um, the empty set symbol is a set in itself, just like the universal set, we use that U. This is a set and, and we don't use the brackets. I know it's, it's unusual uh, because Thanks. all the other sets have the, have the brackets. Um, all right, that was a good question. So let's see. Um, we have to follow the order of operations. Uh, so we, uh, there are no parentheses, uh, but we do have an exponent. We have that complement. So before we can do the intersection, we have to figure out what B complement looks like. So first I'm gonna write out B. B contains the letters A, C and the numbers one, two. So we have A, C, one, two, which means that the complement of B is everything that is outside, right? And so B complement has little b, three, four, five, six, right? 
So now that we've dealt with the exponent, we can now deal with the intersection, multiplication. So A intersected with B complement. So we're looking at this column for A and this column for B complement. And with intersection, we want two yeses. Or two trues. That is, the element has to appear in both. So four appears in both, and so does six, right? So uh, the answer is going to be four, six. So we have the elements four, oops, the element four and six are appear in both sets. Um, and so in set notation, we have four comma six. Anyhow, um, problem number six just wants us to count that set. Exactly the same set, there are one, two elements in it. I'm going to skip seven and eight. I'm going to focus on problem number nine. So number nine does have parentheses, right? So we have to do what's inside the parentheses first, which is the union of C with B. Uh, I haven't written out the set C yet, so I'm going to go ahead and write that first. I'm going to switch colors. So C contains uh, the letters B, C. And so the union of C or B, C or B, um, for union, only the element only has to appear in one of these two columns, right? So we only need one yes. One yes. All right, so any elements in either one of the columns works. So union's a little bit easier to... To figure out. So A, oops, we're going to have A, B, C, and then we jump down to three, four, five, six. All right, so A, B, C, oops, am I looking? B also contains one, oh, I, I looked at the wrong column, sorry. My apologies. Let me highlight that for myself. So we have C and we have B. So A, B, C, and one, two. There we go. That's the union. Uh, and then we can perform the complement that is everything outside of the union. So for the complement, we focus on the set that is inside the parentheses and the universal set. So all the elements in the universal set that are missing from the union well, we have A, B, C, 1, 2, so we're missing 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that is, uh, that is the answer. The answer is a set three, four, five, and 6. And the count is just 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four elements in that set.